All right, guys, it's a warm day this morning, and today we're hopping on the Indian Chief Bobber Dark Horse. Now, we've ridden the Chief before, but I did want to give uh, the, the Chief Bobber a shot because I do like the the, the higher handlebars on, the, on these bikes. Uh, I do enjoy riding those, so I wanted to give this one a shot today, and that's what we're doing. Got this gorgeous display here. Uh, the circular display, which is a digital display with a TFT screen. It looks like it's warming. Yeah, so the at first it looks like it's going to be a little bit harder to read, but then that screen pops up and it's nice and bright. Now, just right off the bat, what I will say about this riding position is that... Uh, scooching a little bit further forward in my seat here because Woo! <laughs> uh, because uh... Woo! oh this bike feels nice and sporty I wonder if we're in a, in a sp we are in sport mode well let's just change that really quickly because uh, I <laughs> finding out right away how how uh how how peppy this bike can be in sport mode i i do i do just kind of want to get a feel for how it's going to feel in standard mode we're going to try and find uh how do i all right we're just gonna we're gonna roll with it in sport mode until oh here we go settings 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 bike yeah i don't know Maybe we're not going to be able to change that out of sport mode. Would have been something nice to know in advance, but you know, we were going to spend most of the ride in sport mode anyway, so. So yeah, well, let's get back to the riding position here. We, I did get off two extremely comfortable motorcycles, so that's going to make a difference in how I feel about this. Um, but here in this first turn, yeah, really confident in this turn. Uh, but after getting off those really comfortable bikes and onto the, 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 the Chief Bobber, uh, Let's 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 leave the the turn signal on here and see if uh, if, it, if it auto cancels. Getting off those two bikes and getting onto this bike, what I will say is that the the riding position here is even for a bike with these taller handlebars, I would feel like it would be nicer if they were leaned back forward. I mean, you can obviously make those adjustments to your handlebars, um, but just just to to make note of right away uh, that gauges. Okay. Just to make note of right away, uh, it does feel like a little bit of a lean forward. I'm five foot six. Uh, I weigh my, my my I weigh. I don't need to tell you how much I weigh. My <laughs> my inseam is 30 inches, and my arm span is about 70 inches. So even with some longer arms, I do feel a little bit more like I'm having to lean forward for these uh, these mini hanger bars. Uh, you've got on the right hand side, you've got your uh, your pegs. The shifter and the the brake peg actually look pr almost exactly the same. It's a little bit different. Uh, I know with a lot of other, uh, or not with a lot, a lot of, with some bike companies that the, the brake peg has, is not necessarily a peg, but this is kind of a uniform look. Um, the seat height on this bike is really low. I think it's sub 27 inches. So I am absolutely flat footing both sides. I mean, I've got my legs spread out nice and wide and I've got my feet flat on the ground on both sides, um, firmly on the ground. And uh, I can say it's, it's a warm day. Uh, you can see it's 86 degrees, which is just increased a degree. Um, but my leg is close to this, this, uh, this uh, exhaust, and I can feel that heat on my leg. But again, we're at stoplights here. It's a hot day, uh, Northern California summer. So, I mean, you're just, th that's something that you're just gonna have to deal with. Uh, mirror placement here is good. Uh, I believe, uh, on the chief it should, wouldn't be too hard to flip these mirrors and put them underneath um, but as it is you know there's a little bit of extra obstruction from my shoulder in the view here um, but but it's not obstruct obstructing my my view too extremely there's a long truck I'm gonna get around this thing as, as fast as we can Woo! and we can <laughs> and we can do that quickly Woo, on the scout bobber that is fun i don't even want to know what standard mode feels like <laughs> i don't think i would ever take it out of sport mode 
All right, so we don't have self-canceling turn signals, um, which is not a big deal. Nice, clear dis digital display, like I said before. Uh, we've got the nice big uh, uh, speed speedo right in the middle, uh, along with your tachometer on, along the outside, and your gear is nice and large on the front. And really, when I'm talking about a even like an analog display, which this is trying to emulate, uh, that that's all the information that I really want to look at all the time. Um, but we also have the direction and uh, the, t the air temperature outside. Woohoo! Oh yeah! Okay. So we're going to get into a slower speed turn here. See how it handles. Really well balanced for a bike uh, like this. Woo! Oh. Love the sound. Yeah, so like I said, we just came off of some nice big touring bikes with a big front fairing on the front. So we're getting lots of air here right in our face, which I, I mean, on a hot day, this is this is why I ride, right? I mean, not why I ride, but uh, this is why I don't have a windshield when I ride because I want to feel that air. I want to cool off. And it's just, I mean, lots of riders will tell you it's the wind in the face. That's why we do it. And you're getting it full force here. Uh, being out uh, all splayed out here with your arms out and your legs out and the, these front controls um, Front controls aren't a reach at all uh, Even though you know, you know, we do call these front controls, but I mean for me at five foot six I'm a shorter rider my I still have a good bend in the knee my knee's not hitting the tank um, It's hitting that uh, that I think it's the air cleaner on the left side, which you know, it's kind of a pain It's hitting right in that screw on the, on the left side uh, so, I don't know. That's not comfortable. <laughs> but I don't know how often uh, if I'm going to be hugging the tank with my knees here. But I, I can't really do it here on the right side because of that cleaner. Alright, so let's talk about uh, seat comfort. Seat comfort is, is actually really good. It feels kind of like a gel-ish seat. If it's not a gel seat, it feels like uh, the, uh, those classic gel seats. That's, that's not super soft, but just soft enough so that, uh, you know, it's not uh, like like sitting on a rock. <laughs> but it's, it's, and it's also not super firm either. I would say it's just right and just enough support in that saddle to not let you hit the bottom of the, the seat pan, which is gonna be, it. that's when you get into painful situations after riding for a while. So nice comfortable seat, nice riding position. Like I've mentioned before, it's a little bit of a lean forward, so it's gotta keep that in mind. Um, you can see we've got the key fob here, so you've got a keyless start. There's no uh, key uh, keyed ignition, uh, but I'm guessing that there might be like a, a manual key just in case that that fails. That uh, and I don't know if that, that's something that they do, but uh, I'll let you know if here on the screen if, if that's something that I can find out for you. All right, so. I like to do this little test here as we come to a slower speed. I'm not going to put my feet down and we'll see how well the bike feels, how balanced it feels as we come to a stop here. Yeah, very, very well balanced. And even here in sport mode, if you're gentle on that throttle, uh, you're not going to get all that power. <laughs> even though you can here if, uh, <laughs> if you, uh, you roll on it hard it's obviously in sport mode you're gonna get uh, a lot more so we didn't go over the hand controls yet uh, so let's go over those really quickly on the right it's pretty simple you do have your uh, cruise control settings here on the right right underneath your standard switches which are the power switch and then your kill switch on the left your horn and the light switch switches for your high beams and your high beam flashers uh, your turn signals right below that and then your toggle for your screen which is something that's not uh, not I'm not too super typical, right? When you're talking about a, a, a kind of a, a classic feeling cruiser is to have this cool uh, circular digital display, which I think is, is really rad. Um, I haven't heard any complaints from uh, chief riders who have this display about whether or not it, it doesn't feel bright enough to them or uh, having it malfunction. Uh, I think, uh, if I had this motorcycle, I'd be really happy with a display like this. Um, because this is the cheap Barber Dark Horse, you got that dark, blacked out look, which I th is just my favorite. I love the, the blacked out look on motorcycles. Uh, 
and if, if that's not your thing there are definitely stout options that have more chrome but for for myself I wanted to, to, to give the cheap bobber dark horse a ride because this is way more my style and get into this turn a little bit oh yeah so I believe that lean angle is 29 degrees but I mean we got into that turn at about I think it was at 40 miles an hour and we were leaning over pretty good and the bike's just really confident in that turn. I don't. I didn't feel like we were getting close to scrap, scraping a peg or anything. Yeah, I mean, 29 degrees might not seem like a whole lot, but at the same time, I mean, we showed you there. You can lean pretty well into a turn. Um, you know, some riders on cruisers do like to get a little more aggressive uh, on windy roads, but, you know, for me, as a guy who rides a cruiser on occasion, uh doing a leisurely wide sweeping turn you're gonna have fun on this bike and handles really well so balance is good uh, acceleration in sport mode is awesome if I could fi figure out how to turn that sport mode off I would so we could just give it a whirl in standard mode but but I mean not that big of a deal I'm having a ton of fun um, uh, what I will, another thing I'll mention about the seat here is other than how comfortable it is is that the, the um, I, I do I have my jeans on and it's gripping this uh, material on the seat. I, I believe it's a leather seat. Yeah, if it's not leather, it's that faux leather, but it's definitely gripping my pants really well. And it also has kind of this cup, right? A cup shape to keep you uh, planted in your seat when you accelerate, which is, you know, for sitting upright and with forward controls, being held in your seat is kind of a, for me, is a must because, you know, I, I've definitely had uh, and ridden standard bikes and cruisers that have like a long seat that doesn't have any like anything to keep you in place and it you know as fun as it is to, to grip it and rip that throttle and and feel like you're gonna get bucked off the bike as fun as that seems or as fun as it can be I would prefer to give that rip uh, get that speed and be held in place to enjoy it <laughs> All right, so what I will say here is, in stop and go, in this trafficy situation, uh, stoplight situation, stoplight to stoplight, uh, I, I wish that I, I wish that I could throw this thing out of sport modes because it it is a little touchy in the throttle, right? And when you're getting stop and go, you're kind of like surging forward all the time, and it'd definitely be better in in a standard mode. So on the left hand side, there's a trigger button and I'll, I'll have that for you, a view of that on the video. And what that does is that's gonna change the menu view for you. Uh, that's kind of cool because you can change this screen here without um, removing your hands from the controls, which maybe is something that if you're watching this video and you're like, well, touch screen's great and everything, but like, what's the point of having a, a, a touch screen, which, yeah. What's the point of having a touch screen on a motorcycle if you gotta take your hands off the throttle or off the handlebars? Um, answer for you, you don't have to take your hands off the screen to, to toggle, th or hands off the handlebars to toggle through this screen. Now, some, a question I typically get when I ride cruisers is, how's the heat? Um, it does look like this is a combined uh, air-cooled, I can't see if there's a, it looks like maybe air-cooled only. I'll have that information for you on the screen for sure. Um, but heat is okay. Like I said, when we first got going and we weren't uh, going anywhere very quickly, I could feel that heat on the right side. Uh, left side doesn't didn't feel much of anything. Uh, pretty standard for a, a cruiser. It did get a little hot on the right side, which, I mean, again, your leg's right next to that exhaust. It's just how it's going to be. But uh, again, with, I'm wearing jeans um, and then uh, some compression riding uh, pants underneath for my uh, safety. And that heat is just hot. It's not, it's not overwhelming. I don't feel like uh, I'm going to you know burn my leg so uh, something to, to keep in mind but not to, i would say not something to worry about um if you're somebody who's going to be stuck in traffic a lot maybe something a little more to consider but as i always say on these bikes that i test ride and, and make videos for you guys i always say ride these bikes for yourself because i can talk all day about how i feel about a motorcycle but my opinion means nothing compared to, to how you feel about it how, once you get on it so i encourage you if you to do that and a good part, part, a good time in the video now to, to let you to tell you guys. If you have any questions, 
about the Indian Chief Bob or Dark Horse, make sure you leave those in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. If I can't, I will track down that answer for you. All right. Love the sound of this this exhaust too. Uh, I know, on, like on the Scout, the exhaust, the standard exhaust is kind of quiet. But if you're if you're looking to upgrade from a Scout or maybe from a smaller cruiser to something like this, this stock sound is is beefy. It's nice. But we're coming to the end of the ride here, guys. I appreciate you coming along. If you made it to the end here, appreciate you. Go ahead and hit that like button if you found something that helpful, if you liked the video. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Guys, if you're out there riding, please be safe. Be kind to one another. My name is Eric. I'm that one guy. And I am out.